Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the One UI 2.0 beta number six that has been released for the Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and the S10e. So let's dive in and take a look at what is new. Now, the very first thing I wanna show you guys is if I go to the settings over here, uh, and if I scroll all the way down, if I go to the about phone and tap on software information, we do have the One UI version 2.0, and of course we have Android 10, as you can see. Tap it a couple times and boom, you've got the Android 10 logo. All right, so let's go back, and I'm gonna show you guys the full change log for the new Beta 6 update. So let's go to software update and tap on last update, which was today. So here we have it. I'm gonna tap on this one. It's gonna expand all the um, uh, new changes. So here's what's new. Uh, we do have many, many bug fixes that were reported and collected through the beta interface. Things like status bar was cut off at the bottom, deleting a photo from the gallery after shooting with the camera, but the photo is still displayed in the quick view and the photo is rotated in the gallery. So you can pause this and read the full log here. Uh, that's all we get. But what I do want to really mention is uh, I'm noticing extremely smooth user interface. So this is the sixth beta now, and the phone just feels super smooth, almost as if I'm using a finalized product. So the animations are now even quicker, more fluid, and smoother. So when I go back, there is no stutter. It's completely smooth, as you can see. Let me just launch a couple of these guys. They look absolutely great. When you tap on the folders, they expand real nice and slow. It's got a brand new look. As you know, if you tap on this color, you're able to change the color of the folder and also uh, get a live preview of all the changes. You can tap on this one. It's gonna expand and give you even more options. So let's go over here. Now there was a problem with the last betas. When you tapped here on the screen, the folder wouldn't go back. So now they have fixed that. So if I tap anywhere outside of this folder right here, it goes right outside and again, and again, the animations are super smooth and super cool. Let's go over here again. Uh, in the last betas, there was slight stutter that is slowly but surely disappearing. So we do have that bouncing effect, as you can see. And again, it's more fluid, all right? These things keep happening at every beta. With every new beta update, we're getting more and more fluidity. Now in the settings, we don't have much that has changed from the previous beta, okay? I showed you guys the new uh, device care, which is still there. Now as I tap on the buttons and the actual uh, options expand, I can sense that it's a little bit faster, okay? So as they fix the beta, everything is just getting better and better. So it's a little bit faster to launch and it's a little bit more smooth. Another thing I noticed is back in the settings over here, when I was using the uh, older settings and the older beta, there was a little stutter as I was going up and down. Now that's disappeared too. So again, it goes up and down smoothly. And I know that's not a big deal for some people, but for me it is. Uh, even though this is a beta software, I do use it every day because I'm really uh, interested in these things. So I like the fact that I'm able to use this as a normal, normal phone. I can now at this point dump in my SIM card and it's most likely gonna work uh, with minimum problems. Again, this is the sixth beta. But like I said, beyond that, we still have all the good old stuff. If you go to display, we have an enhanced dark mode, as you guys know. When I turn this on, the background image darkens as well, so it gives you a better effect overall. Uh, we have the new navigation bar settings that I showed, uh, showed you guys before. If you go over here, go to full screen gestures, uh, tap on more options, and I'll let you know, again, as I use this stuff, it's smoother, okay? So that's what I like, and it's got many, many removed bugs. So in the past, sometimes I would do, I, I would be doing this, and the whole thing would just crash for some reason. Now that's not happening. Everything is nice and smooth. And of course, we have so many more options. I'm gonna drop a link to full new features, such as the focus mode that we have uh, right over here. It should be here somewhere, the focus mode. If it's not over here, it's gonna be in, right there. So we have the focus mode, if I tap on it, allows you to uh, avoid distractions by creating work times and me times. 
uh, again, if that's right over here, where's the um, digital well-being and parental controls? If you go in here, we have this new option of focus mode. Uh, avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus, all right? So all these things I have talked in detail. I'm going to drop a link to the full video. But with the Beta 6, basically, they have a lot of new bug removals and the overall consistency of the software has fully improved. All right, so if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know, guys. Uh, let me know if you got the Beta 6 or maybe you're in line or if you watch this video and you're getting it right now. Just go to the settings to get the beta, tap on software update, and tap on download and install. And if it's ready, if, if it's available, it's going to pop right here and then you're just going to install it. All right, see you in the next video. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.